students in present video i am going to explain about 20th problem from consignment accounts topic i am taking this question from telangana state telugu academy inter second year accountancy test book but this video is useful to all common students who want to know about consignment accounts topic previous problems videos links are available in the description box let us see the question first on 1st january 2020 భారత్ కోల్ కంపెనీ లిమిటెడ్ కన్సైన్డ్ గుడ్స్ టు విజయ్ డీలర్స్ విజయవాడ ఫోర్ హండ్రెడ్ టన్స్ ఆఫ్ కోల్ కాస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద కోల్ బీయింగ్ వన్ ఎయిటీ రూపీస్ పర్ టన్ ద కంపెనీ హ్యాడ్ పెయిడ్ సిక్స్ థౌసండ్ రూపీస్ టువర్డ్స్ ఫ్రైట్ అండ్ ఇన్సూరెన్స్ విజయ్ టుక్ డెలివరీ ఆఫ్ ద గుడ్స్ కన్సైన్డ్ ఆన్ టెన్త్ జనవరి టూ థౌసండ్ ట్వంటీ ఆన్ థర్టీ ఫస్ట్ మార్చ్ టూ థౌసండ్ ట్వంటీ ద కన్సైనీ రిపోర్టెడ్ దట్ there was a shortage of 10 tons due to loading and unloading of the coal treated as normal loss 380 tons were sold at the rate of 250 rupees per ton he had paid 3000 rupees towards godown rent and selling expenses vijay dealers were entitled to a commission of 4000 rupees show necessary accounts in the books of bharat coal company limited this is a question let us see the solution for this important points of this problem i have written on the board bharat coal company limited is consigning 400 tons of coal to vijaya dealers on 1st january 2020 so bharat coal company limited is consigning the goods no they are sending the goods no so they are known as consignor to whom they said vijaya dealers so vijaya dealer is known as kanzaini kanzaini is living in vijayawada then one ton cost price is 180 rupees so kanzainor's expenditure is 6000 rupees to send this goods kanzainor incurred 6000 expenditure and on 31st march 2020 kanzaini sent some information while loading and unloading of this coal there is a shortage of 10 tons of coal so this loss is known as normal loss in brackets he has given no you should treat this loss as normal loss next consignee sold 380 tons at the rate of 250 rupees per ton so 380 into 250 sales amount is 95000 rupees Consignor sent 400 tons. 10 tons were lost. So, 400 minus 10, 390. In 390 tons, Consignor sold 380 tons. Means in present problem, unsold stock is there. 10 tons of coal. Consignor incurred go-down rent and selling expenses 3,000 rupees. So go down rent every month they pay selling expenses again and again they incur means these two expenses are indirect in nature consignee's expenses are indirect expenses and a consignee is entitled to a commission of 4000 rupees direct amount is given so regarding the due amount there is no proper information so our assumption is consignee sent the due amount to consignor through a bank draft so what is the new point in this problem? Normal loss. So in consignor's books, he is asking us to prepare ledger accounts. Consignor ledger, heading is ledger of Bharat Coal Company Limited, in brackets consignor. Three accounts you have to prepare. Consignee is living in Vijayawada now. So first account name is Vijayawada Consignment Account. Let me write the name. Second account name is Consignee's name, Vijaya Dealer's Account. Third account name, goods sent on consignment account. In present problem, dates are given. No? Goods are sent on 1st January 20. Consignee received these goods on 10th January 20. And sales, shortage, consignee's expenses, commission. This information is sent by consignee on 31st March 2020. As dates are given in the question, in accounts, date column also we should open. So columns are date particulars amount, date particulars amount. 
So as we are preparing lecture in consignors books, we should analyze all transactions from consignors point of view. And the consignment account is a nominal account now. So debit side, consignment business related expenses and losses we should show. Credit side, consignment business related incomes and gains. First what happened? On 1st January 2020, consignor sent the goods on consignment. Debit side we should write now. In consignment account, debit side. To goods sent on consignment account. On 1st January 2020, consignor sent. Write that date. How many tons are sent by consignor? 400 tons. 1 ton cost price is 180 rupees. 400 into 180. 72,000 rupees. To send these goods, consignor incurred expenditure no? 6,000 rupees. So for consignment business expenditure in consignment account debit side we should show because consignment account is a nominal account. Expenditure is 6,000. For consignor's expenditure we have to write to bank account. For expenditure date is not given in the question. So Goods are sent on 1st January. While sending the goods only, consignor incurred this expenditure. So for consignor's expenses also, date is same. 1st January 20. Next. There is a normal loss at the end I will explain. Come to this. Consign is sold 380 tons at the rate of 250 rupees each. So 380 into 250, sales amount is 95,000 rupees. Sale is an income to consignment business. Income on credit side we should write. Vijaya dealer sold, therefore write down by Vijaya dealer's account. Date is 31st March 2020. On that day only consignee informed no? from consignee account sales scale. So write that date. 380 tons at the rate of 250 rupees each 95,000 is the sales amount to sell these goods consignee incurred 3000 rupees expenditure for consignment business this is an expenditure so debit side we should show now 3000 consignee incurred this expenditure so write down consignee's name to Vijay dealers for this also date is 31st March 20 Next, consignee's commission 4000. Consignor has to pay this commission to consignee. So, to consignment business, this commission is an expenditure. Expenditure debit side now 4000 rupees. No need to calculate commission, direct amount is available. To Vijay dealers, we are paying this commission. So, write to Vijay dealers account. For commission also, date is same. 31st March 20. So everything is completed. Finally come to normal loss and unsold stock value calculation. So recollect previous problems. When unsold stock was given, how we used to calculate sub so cost of unsold stock to that proportionate direct expenses of consign or consignee we used to add. But here normal loss is given in the question. So when normal loss is available in the question, why calculating unsold stock, we have to follow other method. So for degree students also, I made consignment accounts problems. In one problem, I explained about normal loss. So that video explanation once we will see. There clearly I explained about normal loss concept. Let us see that video first. So while sending the goods on consignment basis, sometimes some quantity of goods may be lost during transit or in consignee's go down. So this loss may be of two types, normal loss, abnormal loss. In present problem, he is giving normal loss now. So what do you mean by normal loss? If there is any loss of stock due to the inherent nature of goods, that loss is known as normal loss. For example, consignor is sending coal or cement. So while loading and unloading, some coal powder may be lost. Similarly, consignor is sending oil. So while transportation or while storing that oil, some quantity may be lost due to evaporation.
So this type of loss is known as normal loss. So normal loss is unavoidable and the quantity is also under limits. For example, when 1000 quintals of coal is sent, one quintal of coal loss is common. It is within the limits. Therefore, we need not to separately calculate normal loss value. So we need not to pass any journal entries for normal loss. Then how to recover that loss amount? That a normal loss amount is a charge in unsold stock value. Thus, when there is normal loss, unsold stock value increases. So in case of normal loss, to calculate unsold stock, we have to follow separate method. Finally, we have to calculate unsold stock value. In previous problems, how we used to calculate unsold stock value? Unsold stock quantity is 100 barrels are sent by container, 2 barrels are lost in transit. So, consignee received 98 barrels, consignee sold 90 barrels, means 8 barrels are unsold. So, we used to take cost price of these 8 barrels, to that we used to add proportionate direct expenses of consignor and consignee. But in present problem, two barrels are lost in transit and this loss is to be considered as normal loss. Then these are two barrels value also we should include in unsold stock value. Therefore, in a separate manner, by using a formula, we have to calculate unsold stock value here. So remember, when there is normal loss in the question, unsold stock is to be calculated by using one formula. Unsold stock value calculation. See, this is the formula. Cost of goods consigned plus direct expenses into quantity of unsold stock divided by net quantity received by the consignee. Cost of goods consigned. 80,000. 80,000 plus direct expenses. So, sometimes consignor spend direct expenditure. Sometimes consignee. In present problem, goods are lost during transit. Means, consignee incur the expenses after receiving the remaining goods now. So, on this damaged goods, consignee didn't incur any expenditure. Therefore, only consignor expenses we should consider. So, consignor expenditure, 5000 is direct expenditure only. Consignee expenditure may be direct or indirect. Here, sales expenditure is given. Brokerage is given. These two are indirect. Even though any direct expenditure is incurred by consignee, while calculating this unsold stock, we need not to consider. Because goods are damaged in transit. Consignee didn't spend that amount on these damaged goods. Therefore, only consignor direct expenditure I am taking. 5000 rupees into quantity of unsold stock. Consignor sent 100 barrels. Two barrels are damaged. Consignee received 98. In 98 barrels, consignee sold 90 barrels. So unsold stock quantity is 8 barrels now. Take that number 8 divided by net quantity received by consignee. So consignee sent 100. Two are damaged. So consignee received 98 barrels now. Write that. 100 minus 2. That is 98. So, 80,000 plus 5,000, 85,000 into 8 by 98. So, one numerator, one denominator, if you can see, unsold stock value is 6,939 rupees. So, in this value, there is a two barrels cost is also included. Then, this amount in consignment account, credit side we should show now. For unsold stock, what to write? By consignment stock account. 6,939. So here also, I wrote the same formula. When there is normal loss in the question, to calculate unsold stock value, this formula we should use. Cost of goods consigned plus direct expenses of consignor and consignee into quantity of unsold stock divided by Net quantity received by consignee. Cost of goods consigned. So total goods consigned 72,000 rupees. To this direct expenses of consignor and consignee we should add consignor expenditure 6,000. 
so consignors expenditure is always direct expenditure no? means we should add and the consignee's expenditure is not direct expenditure so go down rent and selling expenses are indirect expenses no means we should not consider consignee's expenditure so consignor's expenditure 6000 we should add it to cost 72000 so 72000 plus 6000 is equal to 78000 into quantity of unsold stock how many tons are sent 400 how many are damaged 10 so consignee received 390 tons and the consignee sold 380 tons so 390 minus 380 unsold stock quantity is 10 tons no? so that 10 this is not amount this is quantity 10 tons divided by net quantity received by consignee so consignor sent 400 tons while loading and unloading of this coal 10 tons were damaged so consignee receives the remaining tons no? 400 minus shortage 10 tons Consignee received 390 tons. So 390. This is also not amount quantity. Now this we should cancel. 39 ones are 39 twos are. So 39 twos are 78. Three zeros are then add them here. 2000 rupee is unsold stock value. So as I said earlier, exactly what happened here? Damaged tons, 10 tons, cost we are including in unsold stock. So unsold stock we are taking as 2000. In this 2000, that damaged tons cost also we included. So there is no need of separately calculating normal loss. One should recollect abnormal loss related problems. So there we used to calculate abnormal loss value separately. But a normal loss value, we need not to calculate like that because it is an expected loss now. So in unsold stock value only that a normal loss related cost we add. So this is unsold stock in consignment account way to write on credit side. Date is 31st March 20. For unsold stock what to write? By consignment stock account 2000 rupees. Everything is completed. Finally, find out the profit or loss in consignment. So, credit total minus debit total. Credit column total is 97,000 rupees. Debit column total is 85,000. Difference 12,000. Debit total is less. So, on debit side, this 12,000 rupees we should write. And what is the meaning of this answer? Credit side, we wrote incomes. Debit side, expenses. Income is more than the expenditure. So answer is profit. This profit we should transfer to profit and loss account. So for answer we have to write to profit and loss account. Date 31st March 20. Two sides write on the highest total. 97,000 rupees. Credit side also same. So consignment account is completed. Next to come to consignee's account. Consignee's account, Vijaya dealer's account. With the help of consignment account, we will prepare this. Credit side, Vijaya dealer's 95,000 is there now. This amount, right on debit side. Date is same, 31st March 20. From Vijayawada consignment account, we are taking this amount now. So in particular column, write down the take one name. To Vijayawada consignment account. Next, credit set completed. Come to debit. To Vijaya dealers 3000. To Vijaya dealers 4000. These two amounts, credit set we should write 3000, 4000. Date is 31st March. For two amounts, same date. From Vijayawada consignment account, we have taken no? these two amounts. So write down the take one name. Buy Vijayawada consignment account for 4000 also same. So everything we have posted in this account. 95,000 consignee has to pay to us because he sold our goods for 95,000. From this amount, he deducts his expenses 3000, his commission 4000, 
and the remaining amount 95,000 minus 7,000 is equal 88,000 rupees is the due amount. Kanzani has to pay this when on 31st March 20. As there is no proper information in the question, our assumption is Kanzani paid this amount through a bank draft. So for this answer I am writing by bank account. Two sides highest to total 95,000 rupees. Credit side also 95,000 rupees. So Kanzani's account is completed. Next come to goods and our consignment account. So to prepare this account also, we take the help of consignment account. For 72,000 on debit side, we don't know to goods and on consignment. So in goods and on consignment account, this 72,000 on credit side, we should write. Here, date is 1st January 20. Write down the date here also. 1st January 20. We are taking this amount from Vijayawada consignment account now. Write down the account name here. By Vijayawada consignment account. And how to close this account? Debit side, write down the same amount, 72,000. For this answer, you have to write to trading account. Means by transferring to trading account, we are closing this goods and on consignment account. For this date is last date. 31st March 20. Two sides put the total 72,000 rupees. Credit side also same. So this is the end of present video. Hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you.